Since the dawn of aviation, humanity has dreamed of flying higher and building bigger aircraft. From monumental zeppelins to cargo planes capable of carrying entire locomotives, the history of aviation is also the history of its giants. In this video, you'll discover the largest aircraft ever built and how each of them changed the world of aviation. Even before giant airplanes, the skies already had their colossus. In 1936, the LZ-129 Hindenburg was the largest flying object in the world, measuring 245 meters in length, almost the size of three Airbus A380s lined up. Its tragic end in 1937 in New Jersey marked the fall of passenger airships, but proved that humanity was already dreaming big. In the 1940s, during World War II, came the Hughes H-4 Hercules, better known as the Spruce Goose. Built almost entirely out of wood due to an aluminum shortage, it had a wingspan of 97 meters, the largest of its time. It flew only once in 1947, but secured its place in history as one of the greatest aircraft ever built. At the dawn of the Cold War, the United States created the Convair B-36 Peacemaker, a strategic bomber capable of carrying nuclear weapons over 16,000 kilometers. So massive, it was nicknamed the Aluminum Overcast. The B-36 had a 70-meter wingspan and six engines, making it the largest bomber of its era. In 1965, the Soviet Union unveiled the Antonov An-22, the world's largest turboprop aircraft. Measuring over 57 meters in length and with a maximum weight of 250 tons, it played a vital role in transporting tanks, helicopters, and supplies during military operations. Shortly after, the United States responded with the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. At 76 meters long with a 68-meter wingspan, the Galaxy can carry two M1 Abrams tanks at once. Even today, it remains one of the largest military aircraft in service. Another Soviet giant was the Ilyushin 1L76, developed in the 1970s. Though smaller than the AN-22, it became famous for its versatility. Capable of landing on rough, unpaved runways, it has been used in combat missions, humanitarian aid, and even as a flying laboratory. The largest supersonic bomber in the world also comes from the Soviet Union, the Tupolev Tu-160. At 54 meters long and flying at twice the speed of sound, the Blackjack remains the heaviest supersonic aircraft ever built. In 1970, the Boeing 747 forever changed commercial aviation. Nicknamed the Jumbo Jet, it was the first wide-body aircraft, carrying up to 660 passengers. With its iconic hump, it became the symbol of modern aviation for more than 50 years. In the 1970s and 1980s came the era of the Tri-Jets, aircraft with three engines, like the DC-10, and later its successor, the MD-11. Despite early design issues, these planes became intercontinental classics, connecting continents with efficiency and reliability.
In the 1990s, Airbus introduced one of the most unusual aircraft ever, the Beluga, named after the white whale because of its unique shape. It wasn't built for passengers, but to transport enormous aircraft parts, such as wings and fuselage sections. With its raised cockpit and massive cargo bay, the Beluga became vital to the aviation industry, crossing Europe daily and drawing attention at every airport it lands. In 2005, the world was introduced to the Airbus A380, the largest passenger aircraft ever built. With two full decks, a capacity of more than 850 people and 72 meters in length, it offered a one-of-a-kind experience. However, high costs led to its production ending in 2021. Still, for those who flew on it, the A380 felt like a cruise ship in the sky. If the A380 was about size, the Boeing 777X is all about technology. It is the largest twin-engine aircraft ever built, featuring folding wings to fit into standard airports. With a maximum takeoff weight of 426 tons, it is considered the future of long-haul travel. In the 1980s, the Antonov AN-124 entered service the second largest cargo aircraft in the world. Capable of transporting 150 tons of payload, it has carried everything from entire locomotives to rocket parts. Even today, it remains essential in global logistics. But nothing surpasses the Antonov AN-225 Maria. At 84 meters long, with an 88-meter wingspan, and able to carry 250 tons of cargo, it was built to transport the Soviet Buran space shuttle. Only one was ever completed, yet that was enough to make it a legend. Sadly, in 2022, the only AN-225 was destroyed in the war in Ukraine. Still, its memory lives on in the hearts of aviation enthusiasts worldwide. Today, the title of the largest wingspan belongs to the Stratolaunch Rock. With 117 meters from wingtip to wingtip, it was designed to launch rockets mid-air. More than just an airplane, it's a platform for the new space age. Even bigger and more efficient aircraft are already on the horizon. Hybrid planes, hydrogen-powered engines, and even full flying wing designs may dominate the skies in the coming decades. The future of aviation giants is just beginning. From Zeppelins to the largest cargo aircraft ever built, aviation giants showcase humanity's ability to dream and achieve the impossible. Each one of these aircraft is more than just transportation. They are landmarks of engineering and imagination. Now tell me, if you could choose which of these giants would you fly on? Leave your answer in the comments below. See you next time.